Hi, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Bruce Milray. My wife, Minnie, and I founded our nonprofit, One Day to Wellness, about eight years ago after we discovered the benefits, personal benefits, of transitioning away from a standard American diet and eating a whole food plant based diet, minimizing added salt, oil, and sugar. And one of the first changes that I made to my diet was breakfast. I grew up eating Pop Tarts, bacon, and eggs. That was sort of my main go to for breakfast. After I learned the evidence, I decided to make the transition. And my first step was to transition to eating oatmeal. And oatmeal is great, especially if you're in a pinch, you can cook quickly. However, oatmeal is processed and it can actually give you a little bit of bump in blood sugar, especially if you're eating it first thing in the morning. So guess what? Oatmeal is now out. What do we do instead? We have transitioned to eating groats and groats are simply the full berry in grains. So you can have kamut groats, you can have, there's all kinds of ancient grain groats, you can have wheat berries, and the groats look like, these are oat groats, as you can see my wife labeled it. Uh, these are oat groats, oat groats, and it's basically just the husk or hull removed of the entire berry, or the grain berry. And absolutely minimal process. What's the advantage of doing that? You're gonna get two to three times the amount of fiber at eating the less processed groat berry than you are eating the more processed oatmeal. oatmeal. So look at doing this. There's a variety of ways you can access uh, groats and all different kinds. Highly recommend it. What do we do with it? The first thing I wanna say is thanks for watching this. And I want to thank Chef AJ for pulling together this vegan health bundle, which is what we're involved in with them and a whole bunch of other partners. Uh, she's providing this bundle that's only $49. $49. It's only $49. And there's over $7,700 worth of content in there. Uh, great recipes, great information. Uh, great, uh, just a lot of great information. It's only $49. Use the link below. That's our link so that we can get credit for it to get on the train for this vegan health bundle. You will not be disappointed. Okay, so uh, that housekeeping is out of the way. We now transition to eating oak groats. What's the first thing? This is what I'm gonna make, but let's come over here. How do you cook oak groats? You soak them overnight. That's probably the best thing you can do. But if you don't have time to soak them overnight, you don't have to if you have an Instapot. By the way, there are probably over 20 recipes in the uh, Vegan Health Bundle that utilize the Instapot. It is a great tool. I highly recommend you get one. It's gonna make your life easier eating a more evidence-based, healthful diet. Put it in here. You can either soak them overnight. Uh, did you soak these? No. I think, no, you didn't soak them. So you don't have to. If you're going to cook them on the stove, it's a good idea. But with this pressure cooking ability of the Instapot, you just you, you rinse them. You put them in there, two parts water, one part groats, uh, oak groats, kamut groats. Again, any type of grain will do. And, okay. Dogs in the background. Pop them in here, hit grain. There's a button that says grain. Guess what, they're grains. You cook, 20 minutes later, you've got fresh groats. And here they are right here. These are stored overnight. They last for four or five days. So cook a bunch in a batch in the refrigerator. There it is. So you can see it's much more of the full grain. Uh, again, twice the amount of fiber as oatmeal. And here's something I really wanna, that's important. When I used to eat oatmeal, when I started tra when I transitioned to eating a whole food plant based diet, I was hungry. I was hungry at nine. We have dogs. We have dogs. <laughs> I was hungry at nine o'clock in the morning after I ate oatmeal at eight thirty because it just rushed through me. Groats will keep you satiated. There's more protein in groats too than in oatmeal. Protein is a great satiation macronutrient, right? And now I can even go without lunch after eating this for breakfast. Really key point, keeping you satiated. What do I do to make it yummy? What do we do? Um, so I put the groats in the bowl here. Why don't I do that, Mindy? I think that's a great here idea. Here we go, Bruce. this is how it goes now for breakfast in the morning. Please excuse the um, Easter thing. In the middle decorations. The decorations, <laughs> thank you. So I do that. Boom, there we go. That's about the amount of groats in the meat. You can see how thick and full it is. And what do I put on it? 
Soy milk, I go with soy milk. Mini likes oat milk. Plant milks are great. Make sure you read the label when you buy plant milks because usually they have added sugar. If it doesn't say unsweetened, that means it's got added sugar. And a lot of times they put oil and other uh, emulsifiers and thickeners and preservatives in there. West soy is my personal favorite because look at the ingredients, organic soy milk, uh, organic soybeans and water, that's it. So two ingredients, organic soybeans and water. So shake it up, put it on there on the top. Boom, look at that. Shazam. Now, what else do I like to put on there? Because I try to focus on health and on scientific evidence and what we should be eating. I put tons of fruit on it. I'm a berryaholic. Berries are packed with fiber. Fiber is one of the most important uh, components of your diet. The only way you're gonna get good, healthy fiber is eating fruits and vegetables. You're not gonna get it what you want, soluble fiber from Metamucil or from any animal product. That fiber feeds your healthy, that's the preferred food of all the healthy microbes in your gut that have a plethora of health benefits throughout your body. Anti-cancer, uh, improved heart health, and improved blood flow. I can go on and on and on about the importance of fiber uh, in your diet, berries. So berries are great. So I put some berries on there. Uh, I will put an apple, I'll put a banana on there. A lot of times I'll just put, after I heat it up in the microwave, if I do it this way, uh, I'll put some unsalted uh, organic peanut butter on there, which is great. But uh, I also like just putting straight walnuts on top instead of this. And again, nuts and seeds are a healthy thing to eat, packed with fiber and protein. And there's nothing wrong with nut butters. But again, just read the label first to make sure there's no added oil, sugar, salt, or fat. Now, what do I want to do to make it sweet? Date sugar is probably the least offensive sweetener you can put on any food because it's basically dried, crushed up dates created into a syrup or date sugar is just dried up, crushed up dates. So less processed than whole sugar, it's not gonna raise your blood sugar quite as much. But what have I been doing to keep, you make it less processed? Dates, baby. I just like to cut up. So in the morning, I'm not gonna do them all right now, but take the pit out, bang, bang, bang. And I just slice those bad boys up like so. I'm gonna put all of these in there. And now I don't have to put any additional sweetener in there. I mean, we use maple syrup occasionally too. Nothing wrong with sweetening your food as long as you're putting the right food in your body. If you, if you want to make it tasteful so you're going to eat the right food, it's okay to season it or to sweeten it up a little bit. Just don't overdo it. So that's my sweetener. Those are my fruits. I'll chop up apples if I don't have any berries to put in there, or I'll put them both in there. I love to put bananas on there too. I don't cook those in the microwave. I put those on at the end. And then what else, what else? Uh, Mindy loves to put some additional yogurt on her uh, oat groats in the morning. I don't usually eat a lot of yogurt, but uh, there's some great yogurts out there, plant-based yogurts. This is almond yogurt, plain and unsweetened, so no added sugar. A uh, lot of great yogurt uh, and uh, dairy substitute um, yogurts and cheeses out there, so keep an eye out for those. And I'm sure there's more involved in the bundle that you're looking at today. Uh, what's next? What, what is this? <laughs> cinnamon. I love to put cinnamon. The, your medicine cabinet is right here. Spices are your medicine cabinet. Cinnamon has, a, again, a myriad number of benefits, antimicrobial, um, satiation, and it adds great flavor. Cinnamon is great. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. Boom. I'm going to put a little... Oh, I don't want to use that. Here, I'll use this guy. How much cinnamon? I like a lot of cinnamon, so boom. There you go, and I'm gonna stir that up. Put that in there. Stir it up later. What else goes on there? What is this? What do we got here? Oak that's the oak roast. That's more oak roast, so that's good. A couple other things. If you're eating a whole food plant-based diet, you wanna make sure you eat at least one to two tablespoons of flax seed every single day. Uh, you can buy it already ground, which is great. Uh, flaxseed has all the precursors for the omega-3 fatty acids you need for good cellular health. And so I just, I don't measure, I just pour. Here comes the flaxseed on there right now. The zing, that looks like about two tablespoons to me. And there's my omega requirements for the day. It also, flaxseed tastes great. Don't use whole flaxseeds because they'll go right through you. If you buy whole flaxseeds, put them in a, 
uh, some of them in a coffee grinder, clean it up, put them in a coffee grinder, and it's going to make it super fresh because when you do, after you grind the flax seeds, they do begin to oxidize and they can go bad in a couple of weeks. So keep, if you have already ground flax seed, keep it in the fridge or even better in the, the freezer. Here's a new addition based on Dr. Greger's How Not to Age. If you've seen that book recently or read it, it's a fabulous book on how you can uh, postpone aging through your diet. And this is wheat germ. Turns out wheat germ, that's the center of what's in all these growths is the wheat germ. But uh, when they process wheat and make white flour, wheat germ is a byproduct. Well, guess what? G <laughs> G wheat germ is very high in a component called spermidine. And it turns out spermidine is a anti-aging activator and activates some of the path, the longevity pathways and the enzymes that help us delay the aging process. Spermidine is one of them. So, oh, I'm sorry, spermidine, which is in, which is in uh, wheat germ. You can actually buy spermidine supplements, but I like to just eat the food because the wheat germ also tastes great. There that goes, boom, pow, bang. I'm gonna stir that up a little bit more. I don't know what else I have left to talk about here, but I do wanna just again thank AJ for putting this whole program together. She's amazing. She works her butt off to really help other people. And that's something we are always going to support because you're not gonna get this information from anybody from um, the food industry, the drug industry, or the supplement industry. You have to go to people like Chef AJ and um, Dr. Greger to get good information. So regarding the bundle, uh, we're providing in the bundle, we have uh, so many different lecture series that uh, Minnie and I have put together over the years, but we're gonna give you our complete lecture series as part of this package, 10 Steps to a Healthier You, Creating the Work In. Minnie's a great fitness professional, professional for all levels of fitness, uh, really helpful on the exercise component. Uh, eat this instead of that. So if you're trying to transition to eating this way, here are the foods you can substitute with um, if you don't, if you're trying to eliminate, say, cheese. And here comes the nutritional yeast. Uh, how to shop in a grocery store, really important. For people that are making that initial transition, shopping in a grocery store can seem a little intimidating. Uh, and uh, we go through step by step about the easiest way to do that. Uh, mindfulness and meditation. I'm a daily meditator, I'm a big believer in meditation for mental health and just for being calm throughout the day. And uh, there's a component in there for that and successful kitchen setup. Uh, here's the one right here in our beautiful home in St. Augustine, Florida. And we show you how to minimize, get rid of all the clutter and just have what you need. It's not that many tools you need to eat like this, but there's a few really important ones we point out there. And how to transition to an evidence-based diet. So we just go through step-by-step, step, basically what we did when we moved away from eating the standard American disease-promoting diet and moving more towards an evidence-based diet for health. And that's it. So again, we're really looking forward uh, to your participation in this program. Thanks again to Chef AJ and uh, thanks for participating.